Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is Brianna Ray from BriIY here to bring you testing out weird apps from the App Store. So today I'm going to get started by going into this little folder of apps that I've already downloaded and we're just going to go one by one and explore some of the weird stuff that we have here. I'm going to save some of the best for last as I actually found some AI art producing apps. They did mention in-app purchases so I don't know if I'm going to have to purchase certain things once I get in there or what, but I still thought they would be fun to play around with. So I'm going to be getting started with this second one here. Actually, this is called Sand Draw. So um, it looks like we have a couple of different sand options when we get in here. Um, I guess let's just start with regular and see what happens. Map, of course. <coughs> I love getting ads. Okay, so interesting. Kind of as I expected, this is really just a drawing app. Click the shell button to add some cool designs. Okay. Shell. Okay, so I wonder if, okay, it really does just add like a blooming flower here. It looks like I can make it bigger or smaller. That's kind of cool. Interesting. And now it stopped moving once I started drawing. Now click the wave button above. Oh, that's kind of fun. How interesting. It looks like by clicking the little sandbox we can go back and pick different sand. Which is fun and it looks like there is an eraser so I can just erase small portions of the sand if I want. And it also looks like if I really wanted to, I could save the pictures by clicking in the bottom. Yeah, maybe do that later. And it looks like you can unlock everything by using in-app purchases, of course. Alright, next it looks like I'm going to go for a sketch a day. This seems like more of an ongoing thing instead of an actual art tool. Um, again, I'm opening all these for the very first time, so... Here is how it works. Each day everyone draws their interpretation of the day's prompt and uploads it for everyone else to see. Um, looks like today's prompt is a sample on here. I feel a little silly saying it, but I didn't realize that sample was actually the prompt. So we can see when we scroll through here, we can see um, some of the top rated entries with the most likes. This is clearly like a, a scientist um, with some sort of blood sample. Then we have this sort of science sample. Um, you know, a sampling of shots, it looks like, um, and a bunch of different things. And we can see that there is definitely a variety of different kinds and qualities of art here, all organized in different sections. So here we can go through here to all the watercolor, which looks really cool. Wonder, streak achievements, top artists, new artists. Um, let's see, and I'm really curious about this learn section. Oh, so it looks like this is actually kind of laid out more like a drawing book, which is really interesting. Um, and it has these sort of diagrams put in here. This is really interesting. I wonder if they're all like this or if maybe there's some videos involved. Tips on drawing hair. Yes, these do all seem to be quite blog based which is interesting but I do like that it has these sort of colored images that work really well for explaining these different ideas that's awesome upcoming prompts stuck on ideas oh there's a creativity hint that seems kind of cool try a no line drawing only shading allowed that's interesting so this is kind of a cool way to get out of your shell if you're not really sure what to draw on any given day this might be a really cool tool for that I also love the learn feature and I also appreciate that a lot of this does appear to be free and definitely a cool resource so you know maybe check that out if that's something you're interested in right this next one's a little different I'm gonna go with this ID art one um, capture the art, capture the criminals. So this is really interesting. When I saw this on online, <laughs> um, it seemed to imply that this is information about stolen artwork. So this app that the app that allows you to check if a work of art is in the Interpol Stolen Works of Art database. 
Browse the stolen works that are reported to Interpol in the country that you're located. Use visual search. Um, search criteria by manual search. Create your own work of art inventory and object ID format or export your object IDs for law enforcement in case of theft. Use site cards for place slash monument to record current conditions after disaster. So, I wonder what I'm looking at, self-portrait or not. So this is just, it looks like a self-portrait of Christian um, Seidler. Painting, portrait, not religious, partial view, full face, period 1987. Material, canvas, cotton, rectangle, vertical rectangle, facial hair, cloud man. It's got descriptions with a signature, position in the bottom left. And interesting. So it looks like this is literally just a tool to report if you found stolen artwork or to report, report work stolen. I maybe wish it gave a little bit more information about like where it was stolen from. I guess if this is something you're interested in or whatever, <laughs> um, definitely, definitely cool to kind of scroll through and see everything that's kind of lost right now. Alrighty, time for Smoke Name Art. This is something different. I don't think I've ever downloaded an app like this in my life. Looks like I can't actually do anything unless I want to spend $29.99 a month. A month? Is this gold? What? I'm sorry, I do not make enough money to spend $30, even by accident, even with a free trial. I cannot imagine what makes this $30 a month. That is absolutely insane. I will be removing this app immediately. Literally, I have no idea why this would be worth any more than a couple cents a month, $30 a month. I mean, for what? I just don't understand. <laughs> I'm sorry, this app is gonna get a huge, huge thumbs down from me. All right, time for the fun stuff. Um, I don't know which of these apps is better or worse or whatever, so I'm just gonna get started. Um, I did get two different AI apps because I wasn't sure if one of them would work or not because I know um, there are a lot of these that do require payment because they are kind of experimental or they take a lot of money to produce or upkeep or whatever. So I'm not going to join your Discord. But it looks like I have five credits in this one to kind of get started, which is neat. I can kind of get this. Um, and I can only do those two styles, which means this must be kind of new. Um, I think I want... I don't know what this is going to create. I'm very interested in looking at what these options are. So there's a random option, which is cool. I don't know what add styles is. Okay, so it looks like I can add more specific styles of like certain artists, which is really cool. Popular. Okay, so here's some more specific um, concept art. Photolius, photo illustration, oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. Storybook illustration. Digital was okay, that's cool. Um, movements, romanticism, hyperrealism, cool. Made of, oh, this is fun. And medium. I don't have any preferences. I kind of want to see what it does first without any anything really crazy. Initial image, so I can give it, it looks like a picture to start with, which is kind of cool. Runtime 28 iterations. Model realistic, okay. This is fun. I'm gonna hit, I'm so excited. Let's go. Shoot, I hit cancel. You will receive a notification once your creation is wet ready. Okay, if that's the case, let's go pop into the other app and see what happens. So, the other one is called Wonder. Um, it seems to have the same kind of vibe, or at least that's what I understood when I downloaded it. Turn your words into artwork. Okay, so let's get started. Select a prompt. I'm gonna skip the demo. And let's go wild. Okay, so this one definitely is paid. Fast processing, unlimited artwork creation, unlock 50 plus styles, and remove ads. So, already liking the um, the price <laughs> compared to the other one. This is definitely cheaper than <laughs> um, that Smoke Art app. So that's kind of ridiculous. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't look like I can skip out of this one though. I wonder if I hit back. Will that do anything for me? No, it looks like I do have to either start the free trial or, um, I guess just pay. I have an option to restore if I have this on another app, but I don't. And again, I'm all about budget friendly here, so I think I'm actually going to skip this and say if you're wanting to try out something like this, I know Jazz has been doing a lot with the Dolly AI program as well. Um, so if you wanted to try it out, I would definitely go for the other one with the free credits to start with. Um, and that is, of course, assuming that it actually works. So I will come back when it is ready. All right, so my artwork is ready. Um, it didn't take too long at all, less than five minutes. Oh, wow. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know. Well, okay, so I've got we've got the stars and we've got trees some of the trees are pink some of them are green a lot of waterfall vibes so it looks like the trees are like in the waterfall interesting okay iteration images expires in seven days generate animation what i'm sorry i have to know what that looks like wait why is it kind of cool this is i kind of like that a lot oh what an interesting feature i don't know what to do with it i'm gonna hit evolve and see what happens oh so it does does it just totally create something different okay i see so okay this is gonna make it bigger or smaller there's a publish option okay so I guess I get that this is why there's all these different um, prompts in there so that you can get exactly what you want I think I'm gonna put in another prompt and see what happens if I get a little bit more specific with what I'm looking for and see if it can produce something similar to like a vision I have in my head okay this is the other thing I think this Altair option that I kind of picked at the beginning definitely says it's more dreamlike more abstract so um, that definitely fit the bill of what it produced. I'm going to try to use this beta option here. And I'm actually in the middle of trying to build a book cover for my next novel. And I'm kind of just trying to put different things together and see what I like the look of the most. And I haven't quite found something that I love. So I think I might use this as an opportunity to see what I can pull out. So as far as the styles go. Um, definitely not Lovecraftian, <laughs> that's a little much. Um, I don't know if any of these are really kind of sticking out to me. I think I was looking for something maybe a little bit more, um, I think more cartoony, but I guess I did just click more realism, didn't I? So, um, I guess of all of these options, I think OS Monk seems the most like what I'm looking for. And it looks like you can select multiple options. So I think I'm going to go for that. Maybe Albert Bierstadt and um, Thomas Kincaid. Create artwork. And I will receive a notification when it's ready. It is 11.33. Let's see when it is done. Alrighty, it's ready and I'm super excited. Whew, let's see what happens. Interesting. Okay, so what I think is super interesting about this is, first of all, this style is super, super, like, impressionistic, which I'm obsessed with. I really, really love that. Um, I kind of want to, can I like, oh, I can. Um, I don't think I can zoom in at all, but it looks like this, like, wolf body here is, like, most part of the trees which is interesting and there's just like green glow in between them which I don't fully understand I'm also not super sure what this is back there it kind of looks like a head and like this which looks like three slender mans I like the clouds big time love the clouds I think that's super cool um I also don't get what the like words are down there which also makes me think that these were kind of pulled from some sort of movie poster or whatever um, I definitely like that it took what I asked about silhouettes, so you can see that there's a shape of silhouettes. Um, this 
doesn't I guess it maybe kind of looks like two people but not a lot like two people um, these clouds are suspiciously shaped back here to say the least so I don't fully get like the, the landscape situation happening here or the words or the glow but I love that it took what I asked about this style I think it's like visually beautiful like I feel like if I asked someone to make something like this for me I wouldn't be upset um, there's just a couple of little things that maybe aren't perfect about it but I think for a free trial on an app this is pretty darn good and I'm actually really impressed and quite pleased. I'm thinking about doing kind of a follow-up to this where I actually take um, some suggestions in the community tab for this wonder app and I might use the free trial um, or you know pay the you know 350 for a week and kind of throw some of your guys's prompts and recommendations into it and just kind of see what comes out. I think it would be a really fun video so if that's something you want to see drop your recommendations of what kind of prompts you would like me to put into the app down in the comment section below and I will be posting something on the community tab for that as well. I thought this was super fun. I think there was definitely a wide variety of things here. We had some maybe cash grabs and the smoke name art one here. Um, some super interesting finds in a starry eye or whatever, however you are intended to produce that. Sketch a day is a really cool community. Sand draw is just kind of a sandbox drawing app, which I thought was really great. And ID art, which is definitely more of a legal tool than anything, but definitely was an interesting find. So with all that said, I wanted to thank you so, so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I would love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much, and I hope to see you then. Bye!